Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about strings in java programming so a string is a sequence of characters so guys we have the alphabet such as a b c d and many other characters on the keyboard so those are the sequence of characters that we can make words or sentences and together we call it as a string so for example hello is a string containing a sequence of characters that is h e l l o so these are nothing but these are the characters and sequence of such characters makes words and these words are called as strings so guys one more example of string is as you can see programming for beginners which is the name of this youtube channel that you should definitely subscribe and this is another string it can also have multiple words as well as we can see in this example so guys how do we define a string in java we use double quotes to represent a string in java so as you can see we have the string data type followed by the name of the variable and then we have the equal to operator over here and then inside these double quotes as you can see at the start and at the end we are having the string that is the word or sequence of words or we can say sequence of characters followed by the semicolon and guys in this way we can define the strings now we have some important methods that we can use that is in order to get the length of a string we can use a dot length method and then in order to join two java strings we have a concatenate method over here and in order to compare two strings we have equals method over here guys apart from this there are many other methods that you can use so we will see all this with the help of examples so let us say we define a string so we provide the data type as string and then we give the name of the variable so let's say name is the name of the variable and then followed by equal to operator and then let's say we provide the name of this youtube channel as a string value so inside the double quotes we have programming for beginners and then guys followed by a semicolon so as we can see we have just defined a string over here and then in order to print the string what we will do is we will provide the print ln statement so we have this print ln method and then inside this we just have to provide the name of this variable so we'll just copy this and paste this over here i'll just save this file and try running this code so as we can see programming for beginners is getting printed now guys in order to get the length of the string so in order to check the count of the characters in string we have the dot length method so we have to use the name of the variable that is name and then followed by dot and then we have length method so as you can see length is getting suggested over here we press on enter and as we can see this method is being used over here so let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see 25 is the length of this string that is programming for beginners so guys let me just change the value to some other string value over here so i'll just put hello over here let me just save this file and try running this code this should give us the number of characters as 5 so as we can see 5 is getting printed and in this way we can easily get the length of a particular string value guys another method over here as far as strings are concerned is concatenation that means we can join two strings so let's say we have hello over here and let's say we have another string so i'll define string name one equal to and then let's say another string is world so we are trying to concatenate these two strings which will result in hello world so how we can do that so first of all i'll provide a semicolon over here and then what we will do is over here i'll just remove this and then we have this first string that is name so i'll just copy this and paste this over here and then dot concatenate so we have this concat method as you can see which takes another string as a parameter since it is a method as we have seen previously whenever we are calling any method or function it can take single parameter multiple parameters or no parameter at all so guys over here it is going to take the second string as the parameter so i'll just press on enter and provide the name one variable as the second string so what is happening over here is in the first string the second string will get appended over here after this hello so let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see hello world is getting printed now guys in order to get a space character between both these strings what we can do is in the first string variable we can provide a space character at the end of the string so let me just save this file and try running this code so what will happen is this space character will also be included while we are concatenating and this is first string that is hello and then followed by a space 
and then we have world as the second string and in this way we can easily join two strings using the concatenate method now guys we have another method that is in order to compare two strings whether they are equal or not and this will return a boolean type so let us understand this with the help of example over here so let's say we want to compare both these strings so what we will do is the first string that is name dot and then we have the equals method which will take another object in order to compare so guys over here name dot equals and then we will provide name one as the parameter in this method so let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see it is saying as false that's because the values of both these variables are not the same what if i keep the values of both these variables same so i have just removed the space character from the name variable and then in the name one variable as well i am copying the same string value so let me just save this file and try running this code over here both the values are same so as we can see it is returning true so equals will return true whenever both the strings are having the same value whereas it will return false when both of the string values are different so guys these are some of the methods that you should know in java as far as strings are concerned guys apart from this there are many other methods that you can use with the strings so whenever you use the string variable name followed by a dot and then you can see all the list of methods being suggested by eclipse ide so you can check all of them one by one so for example let's say i want to find out the position of this o that is o character over here in this this name variable so what i will use is as we can see we have this index of method so i'll just use this index of method i'll press enter and then i have to provide a character over here so how do we provide a character using a single quote and then i'll just copy this character that is o over here and then i'll paste this so guys when we talk about index it starts from zero so the h character it is at the zeroth index the e character is at the first index and so on this is a second third and then fourth character so the expected output over here should be fourth that's because it is at the fourth position so let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see 4 is getting printed similarly let's say if i want to find the position of this e character so i'll just provide e over here instead of o i'll just save this file and try running this code as we can see 1 is getting printed that's because e is at the first position after zeroth position on which h is present so guys it depends on you which method you want to use based on your requirements and you can explore more using eclipse ide so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is access modifiers in java programming so stay tuned